Hey everybody on the Fix for Fun forum and our figs. This is Palazzo Photo. It's August 29th. I'm back here at my house uh, in the Woodlands, Texas, which is zone 9A just north of Houston. I wanted to show you guys a technique that I've shared in the past, but this is something I do for all of my air layers or transplanted trees. I collect a lot of material from vacant lots in the woods and stuff like that whether it's a mulberry or a pecan persimmon really anything that i want to dig up when it's not dormant um, what you're looking at right now are three mulberries two different varieties that i air layered off some wild trees and as you can see they're huge um, they've put off a lot of new growth but if you believe it I actually only air layered about a gallon of roots for each one of these or less okay and a lot of people are wondering when they transplant an air layer or either just transplant a tree how to get it to survive and how to get it to thrive what I do with all of my transplants whether I'm digging them out of the ground severing tap roots or cutting off air layers is I take them and if you follow me over here say hi Remy um, I take them and I bag them now I've got some previous posts on this but I bag them water them in good put them in a pot bag them and then put them in the shade as you can see I'm under some shade here at no time are they in full sunlight just dappled sunlight so what you're looking at now is a bunch of transplants that have been bagged for about three weeks now okay i've got mulberry in here some air layers i've got pine trees i've got pecan trees i've got persimmon trees um, i'll give you an example pecan is something that everyone claims you can't transplant once you sever the tap root so i'm going to give you guys some advice if you bag them depending on what they are generally waiting about two or three weeks for about one to two flushes of growth will let you know that they're gonna make it if they put off one or two flushes of growth whatever it is persimmon pecan anything I've had great success with this you know they're gonna make it the second key besides bagging them is gradually um, subjecting them to the air now the air inside the bag is super humid nearly 100% you can't just take the bag off, okay? They dry out really quick, they'd get shocked. What I do is I gradually loosen these big 50 gallon trash bags. I have them tied around the pots most of the time. Here's some elderberry, for example. You can see the new growth coming off these. So once they put off a couple flushes of new growth, I will slowly loosen the bag and loosen it and loosen it, and then I'll slowly lift it up what that does is that traps all the moisture at the top right so you're still getting humidity but the air's coming in from the bottom and gradually drying up i do that over about a course of a week just let all the humidity evaporate inside the bag when you remove that bag there's no shock i let them stay in the shade and then i gradually put them out in the sun i know it seems like it might be a lot of work um to do it that way but you can transplant just about anything at any time of year i'm going to use these pecans as an example middle of summer 100 degree heat in august okay is when i dug these up dry 100 degrees severed tap roots okay try to get as much as i could but inevitably you're going to sever the tap root severing of the tap root is not what causes the plant to die it's the transpiration from the leaves what you'll do is if you dig them up in the middle of summer especially if you're in a dry climate you're taking them from being really dry and really stressed to putting them in this 100 percent humidity environment watered in well good soil they love it they start to put off flushes of growth they start rooting more and that's when you know they're going to make it i have a few things here and there that will fail but for the most part everything makes it that I do this way I'm sure there's some species that won't but um, I've had great success with that I just wanted to reiterate this method 
looking at those three big air land here are some um, these are um, black locust I severed the roots completely if anybody knows anything about black locust they grow in runners so you're only getting a little T slice a little T shaped slice of root doing fine putting on new growth another mulberry um, I do this for all kinds of stuff I did this for this I think this is called a cypress vine same thing um, let me pan around here and same thing for small seedlings these are a bunch of loquat that I got out from underneath a tree you can see they're doing fine because I put them in the humidity dome just like this and then gradually release the air you guys can see that I have that cracked I opened the vents on top first and then I started cracking it um, but this method works really well for me and you guys can see I do a lot of trees like that you can see all the stuff I have back here uh, inevitably I'm gonna plant all this stuff up in Brian um, but just wanted to share that with you guys it's a great way to get wild trees or to do um, air layers or transplants. Palazzo Photo. I'm in the Woodlands, Texas, north of Houston, Zone A. This is August 29th. Enjoy.